Hi there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM in the back half of our Screwball Revival double feature. Up next, a retro comedy from 1972, smack dab in the middle of the new Hollywood revolution. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, Barbara Streisand, and Ryan O'Neill star in What's Up, Doc? Bogdanovich, one of the best and brightest of the new Hollywood directors, was coming off the last picture show, which had yet to be released when production on this film began, but it had generated significant buzz around Hollywood. Before becoming a filmmaker, Bogdanovich was a film critic and historian, conducting deep dive interviews with top tier Golden Age Hollywood directors, as well as programming retrospectives of their movies at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Based on the buzz surrounding The Last Picture Show, Warner Brothers approached Bogdanovich about directing a film to star Barbara Streisand. But Bogdanovich didn't like the script the studio gave him, so he proposed a story of his own, an homage to the screwball comedy stylings of one of his favorite directors and interview subjects, Howard Hawks. Bogdanovich's book of his interviews with those directors, called Who the Devil Made It, was titled After a Line from Howard Hawks. When watching a picture, Hawks said, you ought to be able to tell, quote, who the devil made it. Bogdanovich particularly loved Bringing Up Baby, a Hawks film from 1938 where Cary Grant plays a square professor whose life is upended when he gets involved with an illogical free spirit, played by Katherine Hepburn. So Bogdanovich took that vague outline and created a whole new story involving a stuffy musicologist, played by Ryan O'Neill, swept into the orbit of a free spirit, Barbara Streisand, when their identical suitcases get mixed up along with a couple of others in a San Francisco hotel. The screenplay was written by a trio of recent Oscar nominees, Buck Henry, who wrote The Graduate, plus Robert Benton and David Newman, the guys who wrote Bonnie and Clyde. From 1972, also with Madeline Kahn and Kenneth Mars, this is Peter Bogdanovich's What's Up, Doc? What's Up, Doc? was a box office hit. Few saw that coming. It was the third highest grossing movie of 1972 after The Godfather and The Poseidon Adventure. No one was more surprised than Barbara Streisand, who didn't think the script was terribly good and was convinced the film was going to be a flop. Instead, it continued Streisand's run as one of the top stars of the 1970s. Director Peter Bogdanovich has described What's Up, Doc? as the most fun he's had making any of his movies. Some of the fun likely came from mixing in subtle tributes to director Howard Hawks, whose Bringing Up Baby provided a rough blueprint for What's Up, Doc. Ryan O'Neill plays a character named Howard, as in Hawks, and at one point, Barbara Streisand's Judy character calls Howard by the incorrect name Steve, just as Lauren Bacall did to Humphrey Bogart in the Hawks-directed picture To Have and Have Not. And if you were looking closely, there's also a brief glimpse of Hawks' 1943 war film, Air Force, on a TV screen. Up next, Silent Sunday Night and a feature starring William Haynes and Joan Crawford. 